This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining the session. A very warm welcome to this Microsoft System Center Config Manager online training session. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Kashif. I am from India. I have 13 plus uh, practical IT experience. I have trained more than 8,000 students globally. I am a CCNA, MCTS, MCSA, MCSE certified professional. Uh, my primary core uh, expertise is on SCCM, Intune, Active Directory, and apart from these three things, I have expertise on uh, uh, exposure on application packaging, Azure, PowerShell as well. Uh, I am a BSc IT graduate. I completed my graduation from Mumbai University, and later on, I started working as a system administrator. These are my uh, website and uh, blog address. <clears throat> This is my email address, guys, and uh, here is my Skype ID. Now I am working as a SCCM architect. I have deployed SCCM to more than 35 companies so far. I used to work on SCCM profile before in uh, um, you know multiple companies like Morgan Stanley, Godrej, and uh, Namura, wherein my primary roles and responsibility was to work on SCCM and uh, resolve uh, you know deployment uh, of application deployment of patches and deployment of operating system and resolve sccm related issues so i worked on almost all the all the versions of sccm starting from sms till uh, the latest version of uh, sccm now i'm not working as a, you know day to day operation um, task uh, now i'm working as architect so this is about me guys uh, so and now i am uh, doing this training for the past five years now and uh, this gives me more sense i keep on learning new things from your questions guys and uh, that that way i i keep myself updated and also i can help uh, others you know imparting my knowledge so that they can also use utilize those knowledge in their uh, work profile okay so that's about me guys now let's talk about the the training duration so this is going to be 35 hours um, and uh, since we are going to do weekday session so we will be doing one and a half hours uh, on daily basis 90 minutes on um, monday to friday and uh, the total days uh, required to finish all the topics is 25 to 28 days okay so almost like a four weeks training to finish all the topics guys okay i'm also involved in a weekend session and um, that is like one three hours on saturday and three hours on sunday and uh, that six weekends required to finish all the topics but since we are doing on weekdays well we will stick with this one okay the first one <clears throat> now let's discuss about sccm what is sccm and when this is started. So let's talk about the historical background of SCCM. So SCCM is a Microsoft product and the name of this product was SMS. The old name of this product was SMS, System Management Server. Now, this was released in the year 1994. Then in the year 1999, the new version of a SMS was released like 2.0, then SCC, SMS 2003, then Microsoft changed the name from SMS to SCCM in the year 2007. Now, SCCM is what? System Center is a family name, like an umbrella, and inside that you have Config Manager as one of the products. So like you have multiple other products in System Center, like SCOM, SCCM, SCVM, right? STSM. There are multiple products which comes under system center umbrella. So SCCM is one of the products inside system center. Okay. Now, so this name changed from uh, SMS to SCCM in the year 2007. So Microsoft uh, released the new version of SCCM in the year 2007. Later on, SP1, after that, SP2 and SP3. Then Microsoft uh, again released uh, a few versions in the year 2012, like SCCM 2012, then SP1, SP2, and R2. Now they are not going with this naming convention, like SP1, SP2, R2. They have now stopped it. 
and they are now now using the year and month so 15 11 so 2015 november they are using 15 11 ccm 15 11 so year and month similarly in the year 2016 they released these three versions in the year 2016 in the year 2017 they released these three versions so every year they are now releasing SCCM three times a year like in february june and october similarly february june and october then the late uh, the in the year 2018 these are the three versions released in the year 2018 february june and october 2000 february uh, 1802 1806 and 1810 now this year they have released 1902 and 1906 this is the one which can be taken into production this one is in technical preview so you cannot take this 1906 in the uh, production you 1902 is the latest and greatest version which can be taken into production so it started from 1994 and 1902 is the latest and greatest version which can be taken into production so almost like 25 years so this is a matured product guys i hope you guys understood this right everyone yes so <clears throat> started in 1994 and it went to 1902 this this year um, in the month of february 2019 so in case if you guys uh, ask if you guys need to ask any question you can stop me right there that's not a problem and we will discuss the question okay so this was the historical details of SACM. This started in 1994. Now, let's talk about the certification. As per, uh, you know, as almost all Microsoft uh, technologies have uh, this uh, certification. So Microsoft is conducting this exam 70-703. That's the exam code. And the total cost of the exam is 160 us dollar if you are not in india if you are in india then you will have to pay 4800 indian rupees to take this exam they are asking uh, total marks uh, 1000 and you need to score at least 700 to pass the exam and after you pass the exam you get mcts microsoft certified technology specialist that is the certificate transcript which you will be getting from microsoft so there is only one paper and that is 70-703. You don't need to take any other pre prerequisite papers or something. You just have to take this one and you will be certified. <clears throat> now, let's talk about the opportunity. Since you guys are going to learn this technology and uh, you should be, you should know the current and the future uh, of this product. So the current market share of this product is like, my, my, my SCCM holds 43% of market share. Why 43%? I'll let you know. There are uh, other products like Alteris. Then you have Landesk, right? Then you have uh, IBM Big Fix. IBM Big Fix. These are other deployment tools, but SCCM is leading the market. SCCM is the one which is almost like everywhere wherever you go whether it is a big size companies mid-size companies you will definitely find sscm okay so almost like uh, in all the companies you will have you will find sscm so 43 percent of market share other tools you know you have other tools like some some are seven percent some are you know ten percent some are you know below uh ten percent all of them okay but sscm is like highly deployed all, all over the globe that's the current status of uh, sorry current market status so all big size plus mid size companies have sccm small size companies you may not have sccm but big size and mid size companies will definitely have it now people who are working uh, working on uh, sccm profile as system administrator they are earning somewhere around 45 us dollar as per the statistic okay we have a lot of opportunities on uh, in indeed and ice job portals these are the two leading job portals in us and canada 
okay now those who are in india they can expect a salary of 800000 indian rupees per year okay that's the average salary it's not okay it's not uh, the fixed salary it is like average salary they can expect so some may be getting 20 lakhs some may be getting like a uh, you know 15 some may be getting 3 some may be getting 5 so based on that we have you know identified as per the statistic so this is like the current and the and now the future suppose uh, if some other product comes in to the market currently there is no other product which is you know which can um, compete sccm because sccm is way ahead so in case if some some product comes in and which has which is better than sccm so that will at least take 10 years to remove sccm from the market because this is deployed all over the globe and almost like all the big size and mid size companies have it so to remove this product and from sccm and go on to a different product it's challenge for for the companies right so minimum 10 years for this product to stay in the market so that's the this is the current one and this is the future okay as per the multiple uh, you know sources i have uh, written it down these are the uh, you know opportunities in sccm okay clear guys yeah now we have yeah. we have sites in sccm okay now sccm works in sites and site roles now there are three sites in sccm okay the first site is central administration site second site is primary site and third site is secondary site these are sites which are installed on windows server so on windows server you install these sites windows server okay and uh, you cannot install all these sites on one windows server so for example if you would like to install this one you need one set separate windows server also similarly one separate windows server you cannot club them together you need one separate windows server okay now central administration site is an optional site you may or may not need central administration site i'll discuss about this why we may or may not need later on but for now you understand central is an optional site similarly the secondary is also an optional site in sccm you may or may not need secondary site but this one is the mandatory one without this you cannot manage devices so this is like the main one okay primary site without primary you cannot manage devices simple as that okay <clears throat> so these are the three sites in sccm and we will discuss about these sites uh, in, in next slides but you for now you understand that these are oh, the first one and the third one are optional but the second one the primary is the mandatory one you have to have primary site without primary you cannot manage devices now then you have uh, sorry what is this Then you have central administration site details. What is a central administration site? So as we discussed in the previous slide, it is an optional site in SCCM. And why do we need a central administration site? Because of these two reasons. When you have more than 100,000 devices and when you have more than one primary site, these are the two major reasons for a central administration site to exist. If you do not have these two reasons, then central administration site cannot exist i mean you you do not install central administration site okay in case if you do not have these two reasons one central administration site supports 700000 devices 7 lakh devices guys 700000 devices all over the globe so for now you understand the first one central administration site is an optional site 
if you need a central administration site that is required only based on these two reason when you have more than 100,000 devices to manage and when you have more than one primary site and it is capable enough to handle 700,000 devices and it needs SQL server database this is the fourth point you need to make a note of it okay so first one optional second one it supports 700,000 devices you need this when you have more than one primary site and 100,000 devices and it needs a SQL server to store the data in the database okay it does not support client assignment that means the clients which are installed on the devices you know suppose you have 10,000 devices you will have to install a CCM client in those 10,000 devices those client do not talk to central administration side for example you have 10,000 devices let's say these are the 10,000 devices okay now you need to install client in each computer a CCM client now SCCM client will always talk to primary site they will never talk to CAS they will never talk to central administration site understood guys so yes. that is that is a central administration site the first thing optional second thing it needed because of these two reasons it needs SQL server database and it does not support client assignment and it needs 700 it supports 700,000 devices now let's talk about primary site the main site in SCCM this is your mandatory one wherever you go you have to have primary site without this you cannot manage devices simple as that it's a mandatory site as I mentioned here it's a mandatory site okay now it manages devices in well connected network it manages up to 100,000 devices the maximum limit of a primary site is 100,000 devices just like central it also needs a SQL server database to store the data it is the site which which supports client assignment as I mentioned you know suppose you have 10,000 or 20,000 devices wherever uh, you know let's say these are the devices uh, and these are like 20,000 devices you need to install client in each computer as a CM client now the client will always talk to primary site so that is client assignment the client will be assigned to primary site okay so 20,000 devices or 10,000 devices or 10 devices or one device whatever it is whatever the number count it will always support the client assignment so for primary site understand a couple of things that it's a mandatory site without this you cannot manage devices second it manages devices in well connected network third it manages up to 100,000 devices and fourth is it supports client assignment clear everyone yes now secondary site secondary site as we discussed it is an optional site in in sccm optional you may or may not need it why do we need it because of this re this reason when you have devices when you have to manage devices which are located in remote location like branch offices you you have your headquarter in 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 mumbai and your branch office is in colombo sri lanka so to manage the devices in sri lanka you need a secondary site for branch offices okay when your devices are located on remote location and your network bandwidth is a constant right low the, the computer is connected on a low bandwidth network that's the reason you need a secondary site otherwise secondary site is not required now one secondary site is capable enough to handle 5000 devices okay again it is an optional site in SCCM it is uh, used when you have devices at remote location to control the network bandwidth one central secondary site can support up to 
5000 devices Sen secondary site uses sql express or sql server database anything of your choice either you go with sql express or sql server database normally people go with this one because this is free sql server database is Kasif, we are unable to hear you. You there? Hello? Uh, Kasif, uh, hello. From last, yeah. Uh, yeah, two three minutes, we couldn't hear your voice. Yeah, is my yeah is my voice clear now? Yes, it's clear now. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, I think uh, my internet connection was reset or something. So this will be like a little. Uh, you know you may be facing such issue i'll try to you know keep it yeah i don't know whether it is connecting or not give me one minute okay now it is connected properly now uh in online session we may be getting this such issue so don't worry about it now um so what was the last thing you heard guys Yeah, the secondary site and uh, we, I mean, um, okay. Okay. Secondary site. Right. Sri Lata. Yes, Kasif, you stopped at uh, SQL Express service and SQL server database. We stopped okay. there. Okay. Is my voice clear now? Yes, it's clear now. Okay. So one secondary site is an optional site in SCCM. It manages devices when you have devices located in remote location. It needs either SQL Express or SQL Server database. It does not support client assignment and it supports up to 5000 devices. So these are the primary things which you have to understand. So it is an optional. It manage it supports up to 5000 devices. It manages devices when you have devices at remote location like branch offices and it it uses SQL Express and it does not support client assignment clear everyone yes now whatever we have learned so far we have learned so far central central administration site optional right primary site mandatory secondary site optional now your whatever we have done so far you you will get more clarity now let me just go to the next slide one central administration site supports up to 700000 devices one primary site supports up to 100000 devices and one secondary site supports up to 5000 devices these are the capability of central primary and secondary now this is gonna be give you more clarity there are three architecture in SCCM. okay you will never find any other architecture apart from this three architecture let's say you are running a small company so for a small company this is the architecture you just need one primary site and that primary site is installed in houston you don't have any branch offices right you call it a standalone primary site and that will be managing all the devices in houston second <clears throat> architecture second diagram is for big mid-sized companies you know uh, 
where the company is less than 100,000 devices and you have one headquarter and branch offices. So let's say Houston is like headquarter and Seattle is branch office branch office one and Boston is branch office two. So in Seattle you need secondary site one and in Boston you need secondary site two because these are two branch offices and these two secondary site will be reporting to primary site. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Understood. So so this one is the first for small size companies. This is the second for mid size companies wherein one primary plus secondary. And this is one with only one primary site, a standalone site without any secondary or something. Now the third architecture, which is for big size companies like Accenture, Deloitte, IBM, you know, big companies wherein you have more than 100,000 devices when you have more than 100,000 devices and more than one primary site. Okay, then only you need to uh, you need to go with this architecture. So central will be sitting on the top of the hierarchy CAS Houston like primary site one London primary site two and primary site three in Shanghai. So primary site one will be managing all the devices in America's region. Primary site two will be managing all the devices in Europe region. Primary site three will be managing all the devices in APAC. This primary will be reporting to central administration site. So this is like big companies wherein you have more than 100,000 devices and more than one primary site. Clear? Any yes. question in this architecture? No. I... No, no, no. Yeah, it is clear. Now, this is this is another architecture, second architecture. Suppose you are suppose uh, you are running a company called Apple. Now, Apple headquarter is in, let's say, New York, right? And okay you have 200,000 devices in Apple, right? 100 out of those 200,000 devices, 100,000 devices in America's region and another 100,000 devices in, uh, let's say, Asia Pacific region, APAC. So you will install primary site one for America primary site two for Asia Pacific. Okay. Clear. Clear. Yeah, okay. And these secondary site will be reporting to this primary site. These secondary site will be reporting to this primary site and both these primary site will be reporting to central administration site. So this is another example for big size companies like Apple or Deloitte or Google or Accenture which, where you have more than 100,000 devices all over the globe. Now the database replication happens from secondary to primary database and primary to central administration database. So primary will replicate the database based with the central administration database. Clear? Yeah. So, uh, Kasi, one question. So, the primary site, it's not mandatory to stay back in uh, headquarters, right? It can be anywhere. For example, Any, uh, anywhere. Uh, anywhere. Anywhere. Oh, okay. 
yeah but normally we keep it on a headquarter location because primary site is capable enough to control more and more devices okay. on the same network right so <clears throat> wherever you have like headquarter or big office or uh, more devices we keep primary site at that, that location okay but it's not mandatory you can put it anywhere now these okay. are the site roles in sscm management point distribution point software update point fallback status point application catalog website web service sms provider we will talk about these things later on but for now you understand there are multiple roles available in sccm site uh, there are three sites in sccm right as we discussed central primary and uh, secondary and these are the site roles in sccm got it yes yeah now suppose you are uh, your manager wants to implement SCCM, okay? In uh, in 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 the company, or you will have, you know, you are trying to convince your manager to. In Give me a minute. Sorry guys, somebody called. Okay, now suppose you are going to implement SCCM in your company. What all things you will get? What all features and functionalities? So you will get asset management. That's the first uh, functionality of uh, SCCM, asset management. For example, you have like thousands and thousands of computers, right? And you would like to get the hardware and software inventory you know you don't need to purchase a third party tool or any other things sccm is capable enough to do hardware and software inventory of all the computers it will also do asset intelligence like license consumption information how many uh, <clears throat> license you have consumed and how many license uh, you still available you still have uh, it available for the distribution software meet to find out the utilization of any software you know suppose in the month of august uh, what is the utilization of uh, uh, google chrome or what is the utilization of firefox normally we do it for licensed application then client management this is the second major role of sccm now in client management you have application management you can use sccm to deploy applications let's say it you have to deploy application on 10 computer 10 computers or 100 computers or 1000 computers or 10000 computers or you know 80000 computers you can use sccm to deploy application to the devices you can also deploy patches like software updates to the devices these days what is happening you know software updates are pretty much required on in every company because there are so many cyber crimes happening all over the globe you might have heard about recent attacks like cyber attacks petia uh, then double kill blue keep uh, ransomware you know wherein the hackers will hack the computer so you microsoft will say microsoft suggests that you need to keep on installing software updates in into your company's computer otherwise your computers are on uh, computers are vulnerable so you can use sccm to deploy updates to your target computers then you can also use sccm to deploy operating system you can manage all the contents then you can find out how many computers are compliant or non-compliant power management suppose you have to define a power policy like after seven o'clock all the computers should go off or all the computers should be um, should uh, turn off the monitors or something you can define that policy client health sccm gives you a pretty good uh, you know what you call the um, dashboard wherein you wherein you can find out how many computers uh, 
client is healthy or unhealthy or something endpoint protection you can deploy antivirus to your client computers you don't need to purchase a third party software you can use this endpoint antivirus endpoint protection then mobile device management you can manage android iphone uh, ipad devices now the third uh, uh, functionality of sscm is uh, basically this is for administrators um, you can uh, do role based administration that means if uttam is good with uh, application deployment i'm going to give application deployment role to uttam if uh, uh, shrilata is good with the software updates i'm going to give software update to role to shrilata based on the expertise of the people we have uh, roles available in sscm okay then remote management you can use sscm to remote into the users devices you don't need to purchase team viewer license or or uh, what do you call the go to meeting or webex you can use uh, uh, sscm remote management to remote into users devices reporting you can get the reports in powerpoint uh, sorry uh, excel csv format or word format pdf format those are the options available to get reports monitoring you can monitor the all the sites and site components through sccm so these are the major three functionalities in sccm asset management compliant uh, client uh, management and administrative feature clear everyone yeah yes now when we go in the training i want both of you to set up your lab either you set up your lab on a local computer right or you if you do not have uh, you know minimum configuration on your local computer then you will have to go on microsoft azure cloud data center okay any lab but you have to have a lab okay then only you will be able to do the practical and i am a firm believer in practical knowledge not the ppt slide and uh, theory theory is fine but you have to apply those theory in the practical environment then you will get more confidence so for so for uh, local lab you need to have minimum 12 gigabyte of ram quad core processor and 300 gb of hard drive space and that is ssd okay if you have this configuration then you can go uh set up your sccm lab on local laptop or desktop if you do not have this configuration for example you are not having this minimum configuration then you go on microsoft azure cloud data center so for cloud data center you just need one computer with internet connection that's it and that will you know we will be setting up lab in in the cloud like our computers will be there on microsoft azure cloud data center in indonesia data center or london data center and we will be remotely connecting to these computers from our computer which will have internet connection any computer which with with internet connection will be sufficient clear yeah uh, you said like uh, lab set up on uh, azure cloud data center do we need to create a azure account and take a instance uh, in that account yes you will have to create your own account okay. and when you subscribe with azure you get 30 days free trial yeah free uh, trial and that you can utilize uh, you get somewhere around 13300 indian rupees which is equivalent to 200 us dollar you can use this 200 us dollar for 30 days to create your resources these resources in cloud okay yes what's the question yeah what is the question shrilata no i just uh, i just wanted to know uh, do i need to purchase the instance as well no 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 you don't have to purchase the first 30 days is free 
Okay, you don't have I to can pay take anything. For the first uh, 30 days, I can take any instance. I mean, any instance of any configuration for free. No, no, you just have to uh, log in. Uh, you know, you need to subscribe with a free trial. That's it. Free trial. When you oh. log in with uh, subscribe with free trial, I'll guide you how to go about it. You will get 30 days free trial. You can use 30 days and then you don't have to pay anything for the first 30 days. After 30 days, if you would like to continue, you will have to uh, convert your account from free trial to a pay as you go account. Then only you will be able to access the resources which are present in uh, Azure data center. OK. OK. Yeah. So after 30 days, if we want to continue, we need to pay $200 uh, for every 30 days. No, no. Is that correct? No, 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 no. After 30 days, if you would like to continue, then you will have to pay based on the resources which you have created. Suppose four computers you created, then for okay. one computer, I think 10 rupees per hour, 10 rupees okay. per hour, 10 rupees per hour and 10 rupees per hour. Let's say if you use uh, for one hour, these four computers, you will have to pay somewhere around 40 rupees per hour. Okay. okay. But this is not exact figure. It may go up or down. Okay. That is the approx uh, information I have given that to you. Okay. Gotcha. Clear, but I'll guide you. If you have to, uh, if you have to uh, continue after 30 days, okay. if if okay. you have to continue after 30 days, then you, you I will give you a, a Microsoft Hands-On Lab. That's the free one. You can use uh, uh, that particular lab, and you don't have to pay anything for that. Okay. Okay. Now the lab architecture will be like this. We will have three Windows Server. Windows Server first one will be your domain controller. Second one will be your uh, SCCM primary site server. Third one will be your database server. And fourth one is your Windows 10 computer. All will be connected to the same LAN network so that they can talk to each other. Okay. Okay. That will be your okay. lab architecture, guys. Any questions? So these all servers will sit in one location. Sorry. Uh, those all servers sit in one location, or uh, this domain one controller? One, one location. location. Yes. We'll be creating a Southeast Asia data center that is located in Indonesia. And we will be setting up our servers in Indonesia and we will be remotely connecting to those computers from our, uh, um, you know, laptop or desktop. Oh. Any question? So far in today's session, guys. Uh, no, I mean, was it helpful? You understood the concept? Yes. It was helpful okay. and we understood the concept. Very good. Now I am going to send you one. Uh, Info at the rate make me IT expert could not be delivered. Info wasn't found. Make me IT expert dot com. How come? Give me one minute, guys. Sure.
okay uh, no worries so i'm gonna send one email to you guys now let me know uh, are you guys going on local or uh, cloud huh? uh, cool. sorry on uh, azure infra not on local. azure okay yeah. okay you uh, uh uttam yeah so um I i'm not sure for now so leah give me one day time i'll let you know no no you have to uh, set it up before we meet tomorrow i want you guys to oh, okay. keep your account ready okay oh, i'm okay, going to send you. you an email and then you uh -huh. have to decide and uh, perform the same step now uh, okay. sure now there are two in this email there are two steps if you are going on azure uh sri lata if you are yeah. if you would like to set it up on azure you have to do from point number 1 to 7 that's it you don't have to do anything you just have to perform from point number 1 to 7 okay and same stands for you uh, uttam yeah. okay okay and if you are if you guys would like to go on a uh, local setup then you will have to download these things in your computer okay and follow the below steps to keep the setup ready before tomorrow's session so that we can proceed further i'm going to send an email to you guys send this email what's your email address yeah it's uttam <coughs> hmm n at s t l o g i c s cs.com okay uttam n for november at the rate yeah. s t stlogics.com okay yes shri lata uh, you want to have a gmail id or uh, is this okay anything oh, you just have to get the information that's it yeah oh Yeah, uh, it's S R I. Hmm. L A T H A N. N for November. H, yeah, correct. At. At the rate. R A D. R A D. C U B E. C U. B E. B for. B for bomb. B for red yeah. cube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. Okay. Rad cube dot com. Okay. So I just sent this email to you guys before tomorrow's session. I would like you guys to keep it ready. I would suggest you guys to go with uh, Azure because you will get Azure okay. uh, exposure as well. Azure is okay. also like a moving um, like a monster in in the IT world. So in okay. my session, I I actually explain SCCM, Active Directory, and Azure, and little bit PowerShell. So you get like mixture of multiple things. Okay. 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 Uh, and again, we have a class on Monday. Is that correct? Yeah. Tomorrow we have the session. No, you guys don't want on tomorrow. That's okay. Uh, Monday to Friday. So we are going on weekend. Okay, Monday to Friday. Yes, Monday to Friday. Today is Friday. Okay. Yeah, Monday to Friday. We will meet on Monday. Same time. Yeah. Seven yeah, thirty India time. You guys are on yeah. which time zone? I'm in IST. Uh, I'm in EST. EST. In Eastern Standard Time, right? Yes. Now I want you guys to. send me 9892354331 send me a whatsapp message on this number so that i'm going to create one group and keep you guys in that group so that we can communicate as and when it is required 9892 oh. yeah Okay
So send me okay. this. Uh, send me a hi message on WhatsApp. I'm gonna create a, a group. Okay, sure. Sure. Okay, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank I you. hope uh, the session was informative. We'll meet again uh, on Monday. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. So, Kasi, before ending the session, I have one question for you. Hmm. Okay. So, since I'm uh, very new to this IT, uh, though it is in networking side and completely IT side. So, do I need to take any extra precautions, or do I need to go with any extra uh, material that I need to go and refer, or something sort of? Sir? No. Or, no, don't worry. I will be guiding you step by step. I'll be asking you to read some article material later okay. on, but you will have to do that. Make sure you read all the okay. articles, whatever the articles I'm going to give you later on. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Because on daily basis, Shilata is sounding very confident. I want to sound like uh, her, you know. No, you know, <laughs> then you know, everyone has a starting uh, day, right? Even I started somewhere, right? So no worries. Right. You cannot learn everything in one day. It takes time. Okay. Yeah. So go slowly, and uh, I will try my level best to explain you the things. But you will have to, you know, help me with all the assignments, all the practicals. You come back to me. You 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 ask questions so that I can understand and take you with me. Okay. Oh sure, definitely. All right, Kasim. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kasim. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.